Yo guys, BSG bring you another Grand Cross video. So we're in December, the month of December. Um, currently I'm recording this on the 26th. So if anything changes within this month alone, uh, you know, this video was recorded before that. But um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna record this before Liz even drops because she will be I don't even know if she'll drop in this month. I don't, I'm not sure if she'll actually drop this week or the fourth. Um, you know, if they're keeping with the same two week schedule, but, um, yeah, if she, she, you know, she's a December unit, basically. She, she's a December unit. Um, these are all three units that we are basically getting. That's it. So pretty small, but I mean, it's all right. You can't get major major units but for this month i actually would say that these three units besides liz um are very interesting units obviously king being crazy but um before we get into that let's go ahead and let's see if we have to move some units up and down of course you guys already know how we do but um i for the most part there are a couple of changes but i don't think they're anything major so again just to let you guys know if you're new to this uh you know this kind of tier list i am basically going over units that i think are better than most uh so that's why it's tier five to tier zero tier five being um you know pretty much garbage but you can use them if you really need to or they have some uses in the back tier four being really good um you know support units or you know just really good in content somewhere tier three being units that you probably want to run or you could run and it'll be good in uh most pve contests and they're you know pretty damn good obviously you know the upper tiers become very 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 explainable where they're just really good in pvp like that's it they're just very good in pvp i'm um, also in pve some units but not all of them but yeah tier three i think tier five and tier three are what confuses people but basically tier five are again like i said they're not that great but you know they have some utility in the back or the you know are pretty good in the back tier four again you know pretty good in the back or you could use them in the front and they could be pretty pretty solid tier three really good units for uh pve events that you probably will want to use or could use um and then from there it goes up to there but anyway let's go ahead and let's start moving units around so from tier zero i don't think we have to move anyone really but escanor <laughs> i think i'm gonna move escanor down um i just feel like now we moved to a point in the game where Escalor is not that bad. Like, he's actually not that bad of a unit to deal with. Of course, if you're new to the game and you're in PvP and you straight up fight a level 90 Escanor, yeah, he's going to clap your butt cheeks. Um, There's no way you're getting past that. But if you're really good at the game and, you know, you have a good team counter to him, he's not that bad like he's honestly not that bad to deal with anymore of course he still hits really hard like a like a freight train but um for the most part i don't think he's as bad as he once was um but that's normal right he's aged as crazy as it, that's crazy escanor the one escanor has aged that is crazy but uh yeah anyway he's he's aged so i'm gonna put him in tier one um uh, but for the most part i think i'm gonna move bond down just probably right right here right here but he's still in tier zero like these are absolute crazy units um if you wanted to i could i could see a uh, argument for putting him down in tier one i could but keep in mind i am counting him with his holy relic and his holy relic is still crazy like that's not cap like his holy relic is still really good um you know if all units on the battlefield died except him he's gonna be really like really strong still so don't 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 count that out but yeah definitely not at the top anymore um but yeah so let's see anyone else in here that we need to i don't think so i think amelia is still really good like i think she's still really strong like she's a crazy unit like she's, she's crazy but um yeah for the most part i think this is great i think this is a great tier zero um for tier one um i am actually contemplating keeping keel at the top but i think i'm gonna do this boom Mm, i'll put i'll put him below meliodas I, I will actually put him below meliodas um zelders it, it's it's tough see this this is where it gets tough because i know kusak is really good mm, I, I i i don't know i think i am i think i actually am gonna put kusak above eskinor <laughs> i think so 
I, I think Kusak is just really strong single target skills. He just, just, you know, his passive helps him out a lot. Eskinor, like I said, he's aged, so his crit resistance isn't really that good. So Kusak could still crit. Uh, well, not that he can crit, but, um, you know, on his ult, he could still crit. Um, you know, his abyss damage does help a little bit. He has really good, um, you know, cutting or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, the, the move where you can't crit. I forgot what they call that. It's not cutting. It's, uh, what is that? I... I'm drawing a blink. I can't remember what it is, but same, basically same move as Elder. So yeah, I think I will keep Cool Sock above it. But I think for the most part, maybe I maybe I could put Terry like. Nah, I think I would put Terry below. See this, see this is tough. I'm um, just talking about the unit itself. I think Terry's fine. I think actually this might be okay. I think I'm gonna move you down though. I think you're you're definitely down there. Um, Blue Melly. Probably is still solid right here. Red Gother, maybe after thinking about it, I will put him there. And then Summer Merlin, she's like, is she above Eskino? I don't know. Am I? That might be too bold. That might that might be a little too bold right there. But I think I'm gonna put her here. You actually know what? I think Summer Merlin. Not even gonna cap. I think you could honestly put Summer Merlin like right here, right? I, I think you could. Yeah, I think you could. Her utility is it, actually wild. Like the, the thing that she does, it, it's crazy. Now, I, I think like these three units could still body slam her. Keo more so because he supports the team. So whoever he's supporting and if they're green, there's, she's going to get absolutely like destroyed, right? But... I think you could actually put her above the rest of these units because her utility is crazy. Attack, disable, and dissolve. Um, what else does she do? Um, she does something else. I can't remember what it is, but she just does a lot, right? She just does absolutely like insane amount. What does she do? I I'm drawing a blank. I, I can't remember ex uh, exactly what she does for her whole passive, but she just she's just doing so much. Yeah, there it is. Sealing. There, that's what she's doing. So she uses three skills. She can also seal the ultimate move gauge. Like that is really good. That is actually really, really good. Um, you don't really need it that much, but that's still, you know, part of her kit, right? And her ultimate's at AOE, which decreases HP related stats. Yeah, she's good, man. She's she's insane. Like she's actually crazy. Is it? I mean, like, you could almost do that. I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do that, right? But you could. He definitely could but uh for the rest i think i'll move ram down maybe right here right i, I think ram might yeah well see ram's really good at supporting the unknown team though i think so um i think i'm gonna move arthur down actually i think i'm actually gonna move him like right here yeah i think i'm gonna move him down um the the meta is just changing so much so i think he's he's right here for sure um tier two tier two let's see anything that we really really need to change okay we still got rule i think rule is at the top of tier two um ayuri I i'm gonna be honest with i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not liking ayuri as much as i thought i would he is good like he is good but the fact that he does rely on Keo hurts him a lot. Like, he's not one of these units that just straight out of the gate can do 200,000 damage on a rank 2, right? He needs to build it up. And maybe in a couple metas, you know, he will be usable. But, like, with King, if King goes second and you're trying to build up with Ayuri, you're gonna, you're gonna die. Like, you're just straight up gonna die. Um, I just don't think Ayuri's kit really is, like helping him out in this meta so i'm gonna keep him here i uh, sorry Ayuri, i just don't think you're you're that crazy miguel i'm gonna i'm probably gonna keep her right here although i am contemplating on putting blue draw above her but um as it stands i, I do think Magelda, magurda whatever you want to call her i do think that she is solid right here uh, let's see draws uh both the draws are fine um blue king i think it's good ludo i'm actually gonna put right here i'm actually gonna keep him here um twigo i'm definitely gonna move you you i i don't know i know it's it's tough man i'm gonna put you right there though i think i'm gonna put you at bare like at, at the the bare minimum you are at the bottom of tier two now so sorry twigo but um ludo's still good um you just gotta build up with him let's see rem rem we'll keep you right here i think you could 
I'm gonna put you below. I, I think I think I'll put Green Valencia above Rem. Yeah, I, I'm. When thinking about it, I think I'm actually gonna put Eleven above Rem too. Rem is solid. I don't think she's like crazy anymore. She's solid for sure, but. I, I don't know if she can be like you really have to build the team around rem in order for her to do like crazy damage without build. again she's the same like she's the same thing as iori right she's fall she falls victim to the build up so she she has to build up in order for her to do crazy damage she can't just turn one out of the gate do 130,000 damage but her skills are stronger than Ayuri's. I will give her that. I think they are actually stronger than Ayuri's because she has Amplify, which she does as well. I, if they honestly would have gave Ayuri Amplify instead of Cold Destruction, he would have been really good, right? He would have been really good, but they didn't. So, I mean, but she's she's good. It's just um, the, the meta is blue, so she doesn't really do too good against blue units. But um, I will keep her, I'll keep her here. Blue Derriere. Um, I think she's fine right here. I think I'm actually gonna move King down. I think King at tier three. I'm gonna put him right here for now. I think King at tier three is um makes sense. I think it makes sense. Twigo, Twigo. See, this is the thing about Twigo. Bond is still good with his Holy Relic, but I don't think Twigo is that great anymore. He does good supporting supporting Bond, of course. You guys already know that. But like, if a unit dies and Twigo comes out and replaces the unit. Twigo's getting absolutely cream pie. Like, it's not even funny. So, I'm, I think I'm going to put him at tier 3, like at the bottom of tier 3. Let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree, but I think I'm going to keep him there. Um, In terms of tier 3 units... I honest to God think you could actually move Slater up. See, I got a couple comments last time I made a video, and... um. They said I didn't put too much respect on Slater. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually probably going to put Slater in tier two. I am actually going to put Slater in tier two. I do wish I had Slater. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish he was on the banners for Lilia or uh, Liz, but it's fine because I don't have him. So I don't know how he plays. Right. But I do wish I had him for sure. Um, same thing with Halloween DN. Although I'm pretty sure Halloween DN is still fine right here. Same thing for Ragnarok DN. I think um, she's she's right here pretty uh pretty confident on saying that green arthur still good right here um jim i think jim i will actually move down um to right here maybe i mean it's interchangeable you could put you could put coin shop king above gem or you could put gem above coin shop king it doesn't really matter um but i, I think twigo at the bottom of tier three is fine i mean you maybe you could argue that he goes here right you could actually argue that yeah i think this is fine i actually think the more i think about it yeah yeah this is probably good right king is good for um you know new players but once you start getting up in pvp you can see that he just dies out completely um he can be solid for new players in the story mode uh you know a couple of beginner pve events but after a while he just he just dies out um jim jim is see when jim first came out he was good he was good as hell but now it's like okay you know stun is not really a problem anymore um ult depletion not that strong the meta is blue so he kind of sucks ass uh his passive is good for collab characters but see the thing with that is most of the collab characters already have teams that they're set on and i don't think you can use jim's passive in the back i i think he has to be in the front actually let me let me do this um does his work in the front gym um i know or in the back let's see so no you yeah you you have to have him in battle and that's just not good for jim that's just that's really just not good for him right now so i'm gonna keep him in tier three i feel like next month when i do this he will actually move down i i, I feel like that that is the case um but tier four so for Escanor, i am actually gonna move him up um i'm probably gonna put him right you could argue he could be right here below Thonar or above. I'm actually putting Eskinor in like right here. Maybe even. <laughs> Am I crazy for doing this? Am I actually crazy for? I don't know. Like. Because I'm, I'm counting him with his holy relic. I'm not even trying to like. I'm not even trying to jerk him off right now. <laughs> like I'm actually thinking that 
Escanor might be solid right here above these units. Um, my reasoning for that is because with his Holy Relic in, in the meta right now, he actually curb stomps any blue units with his Holy Relic, right? Um, it is really powerful. Like, I don't think a lot of people understand how powerful his Holy Relic is against blue units until you use his Holy Relic against the blue units, right? I didn't think that it was going to be as good as it was, but when I made the video on it, he was he was curb stomping every blue unit that even came in his way like he is insane so i think i am actually going to keep him right here the only reason i'm keeping these three above him is because of the fact that they're essential for belmoth pretty much right you need them for belmoth but that's the literal only reason um these units are not good in pvp well maybe zarat zaratros with his holy relic that's going to come out um he he might actually be above these three um the next time i make this we'll see though we'll see i, I think i am gonna get his holy relic for sure though i think i am but yeah escanor is way above these units in terms of overall damage i just think escanor just completely like like just it's not even it's not up for debate he's just better like he's just better um so yeah with his holy relic escanor is really good like really really good um all right let's see um meliotis i think he's fine right here derriere again fine uh esterosa maybe, maybe you could put him here now because they are running stance teams more often so i i guess i'll put him here maybe you could even put him up at tier three but i'm, I'm still gonna keep him at tier four um yeah i think i'm still gonna keep him at tier four um shin probably gonna move you down a little bit not gonna lie easton you're fine tier five units I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna probably just put her back down here. Um, I'm considering putting Helbrum here too, but he is still good for players that don't have this team comp. Right? He is still good if you're running a Jericho, Helbrum, and Green Gother strat. He is still solid for that. So I'm gonna keep him there. Um, but I I think I'm gonna keep her in the the general pool i don't think she's a tier five unit anymore i think she's literally garbage i think she's actually trash so um yeah this true seeker merlin unfortunately got removed or whatever fortunately however you view this unit is removed from the tier unit list so there you go but now let's start okay it's, it's how long has this video been? it's been wow it's it's been a it's been a, a, a long time but um let's go ahead and let's get to the newer unit so christmas lilia is a weird unit she is a very weird unit with her holy relic she's disgusting like she is actually nasty so me personally with her holy relic with her holy relic i am probably gonna put her right here above rugo you could put rugo above her for sure but with her holy relic i think she is probably at the top of tier two i could see an argument for tier one but my thing about that is right she is really reliant on keel she falls victim to the same thing ayuri has and that is her reliance on keel and i cannot put her at tier one because of that i literally cannot put her at tier one because that because if i say that she could go at the top of like right here in tier one that means ayuri could be right here because they have basically the same partner that they need keel right so if anything you could argue ayuri would be above her right but um but yeah I, I will put her here the thing that she has over ayuri is her damage her damage is absolutely like just disgusting right but i think you could honestly put her at tier one if you really wanted to me per actually no i am gonna put her at tier one screw it i'm gonna put her at tier one <laughs> i think i'm gonna put her right a mm, little tough to say but i think with her holy relic she could actually be right in the middle of these two um i i i think true seeker merlin is better than christmas lilia because she doesn't really need her holy relic to be good but Lilia needs her Holy Relic and Keo. So I think for Christmas, Lilia, she's going to be at tier one right in the middle. So I, I like that. I do like that where she's um where she's placed for sure. We'll see how she's looking next meta, though. <laughs> we'll see how she's looking next meta. Because depending on what uh, the next Holy War Festival unit is, Keo could just straight up just be garbage, right? If they cleanse debuffs kill's gone kill's literally gone from the meta it doesn't even matter right if their passive removes debuffs from all allies with like a starting turn he's done like there's just no reason to even put kill on the team he's just he's 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 done so we'll see what he's looking like in the next meta um liz i'm gonna be honest with you liz is looking like a tier top of tier five unit um 
it's just her her passive is good because it could be ran on the back for uh time limited dungeons but as far as it goes the rest of her kit is so unbelievably fucking bad that it makes me want to actually puke because she has a single target shatter an aoe just pure damage but she has nothing that's actually like increasing her damage besides this and this can only be ran in time limited dungeon so the rest of her kit is just so ass like i just i can't even i cannot stress that enough but her passive is good though her passive is good though but the rest of her her kit is just so dog water man this is actually gar like the green liz i think green liz is just better like and and green liz isn't even that much better so yeah i think she's at the top of tier five for sure but uh, i'm not even gonna like i'm not even gonna just like explain king do i actually need to explain why full wings king is good i don't think so i like, if you need me to explain the how good he is you're not playing the game you're just you're just not playing the game and you can say oh well guess what if he goes check it he died <laughs> well okay sure right but what other unit came out within this year that is good in every fucking piece of content in pve besides deathmatch because most of the units for some reason their passives on this list don't work in deathmatch for some reason right um i'm probably like 50 like half of the list literally half of the list they, their passive don't work in deathmatch so i'm not even gonna bring that up for king but king is literally good in everything everything big bird time limited dungeons for Solgris, um anything that you can think of he's probably good in like i'm just gonna be honest with you like he's 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 a beast he is actually a beastly unit. It's disgusting, right? So, uh, yeah, he's the best unit in the game, like, hands down. Like, if you wanted to, you could make an argument saying Gother is above all the units. Yeah, I get it with his passive, whatever. But I'm actually going to put Merlin right here. But at this point in the game, I'm, I'm not going to cap. Like, I understand Gother's passive is still really good. But I'm just not, I'm not going crazy over it anymore. I'm just really going to be honest with you i'm just not because gother his his stats like they've aged it's not like he's um you know crazy anymore he could get one pumped like he's not he's not the the beastly unit he once was all his passive is like he him him himself is it's not like with the rank ups and stuff like he is again of course he's in tier zero right but i'm not going crazy over him anymore you know what i'm saying like it it's time for another unit to replace this go through it just it, it's just time like it just i i feel like actually within the next year if this game lives that long gother might actually go down to tier like one right he might actually go down to tier one maybe even tier two i just feel like it's time for gother to be replaced i just do but um anyway that is the tier list for this month you guys already know i'll make another tier list for january probably at the end of january um depending on what units we get global might get four units for january i'm not even kidding they might actually get four units for january um so that one will be really interesting to see but yeah guys let me know down below i already know that there's going to be some people who are going to disagree completely with the list but let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this tier list i think it's pretty fine uh let me know what units you would place where um you think certain units deserve to be up down i know a lot of people are probably going to argue the fact that bond should be probably at tier one i can already see it but for now i'm going to leave bond at tier zero because he is still a really good unit um but obviously the meta's changed so yeah but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy leave a like comment and subscribe and of course you guys already know i'll see you all later